Several decades ago, all the big hotels in Vegas had open public attractions designed to draw people into the hotel. One of the last great vestiges of that is the wildlife habitat and the Garden Chapel here at the Flamingo Hotel. Hey folks, this is Bill with Dine Drink Vegas, and what I want to do is show you this really pretty attraction which is free and open to the public. It doesn't even need tickets, you literally just walk in through the Flamingo. So if you want to see the actual flamingos, and I have just now entered the garden area, they are here immediately to your left. There, it turns out they are Chilean flamingos, and I won't lie, it smells a little bit funky back here, but it's actually a really pretty view. You've got some koi back there, you've got the flamingos over there doing their thing, and when I initially checked into the hotel, I thought that's all there was, but it's actually a fairly extensive wildlife habitat that you wouldn't expect to exist here on the Las Vegas Strip. So going back around, they have various kinds of ducks. They've also got several different fish species. They've got turtle species. And it's a really nice view. It's kind of a pleasant, relaxing part of the day if you want to come in off the casino floor and do something different. So walking back around, over here they've got some nice gardens it's a nice open green space which makes it feel like something a lot nicer than the rest of the las vegas strip it's also pretty extensive and it goes back for quite a ways i've enjoyed just sitting here and looking at the ducks and watching them the kind of pretty waterfall features more koi here which are enormous and we're now walking back in the direction of the Garden Chapel. I'll talk about it in a minute when we get there. But first, there's one more side path that I want to show you. So it looks like here there had been a waterfall feature. Ah, and to the side there still is. But again, if you're just walking around Vegas, right, and you want a different spot, I don't know, it's a nice place to kind of come and relax for a minute. There's another fish pond over here to the side. And over here, there are just, and there's some enormous fish, including some catfish, which I thought was a little bit weird in the context of Las Vegas. White sturgeon. channel catfish just swimming all through there again just gorgeous waterfalls like it's really pretty and you can suspend disbelief for just a minute about where you are more ducks so i'm going to walk out of this area now and go back towards where the garden chapel is pardon me ma'am i'm so sorry They've done a nice job with some of the flowers. Now, this is obviously not grass, that's turf, but they've done it pretty well. And it is a little bit of the incongruity of Vegas, right? Like Carlos and Charlie's is right there. But still, there are spots where you can go to and disappear for a second. There is, over here, a nice fountain with flamingo statues. And while this has been busy for the most today, it's also been relatively quiet. Now, one of the great photo opportunities here in Vegas is by the waterfall with the flamingo sign, and let's go take a look at it. I have seen people taking selfies here all day long. But that would just be a classic and iconic Vegas photo for selfies, get somebody to take a picture of you and whoever you're with, more of the ponds back over there. So that's it for the wildlife habitat, but there's one more feature that I wanna show you, and we're moving back in the direction of the pool, but it's, oh no, it's too chilly today to wanna to go into the pool. So what I'm gonna do instead is show you the garden chapel which you can reserve for events like, say, weddings or something like that. So the sign is over here. If you go back that path, you would go in the direction of the pool, but that's not what I want to do today. And if you go into the Garden Chapel, it's actually another really nice, um, again, kind of a secluded, quiet area. Now, obviously, you wouldn't want to come back here if somebody was having a wedding or some other kind of event, but that's not what's going on right now. So let's take a look. And I've also got a really cool sign about Bugsy Siegel, who helped found the Flamingo Hotel in decades past. So walking back around, I think this would be a really pretty spot to have a wedding or a vow renewal or something like that. They've made the gardens look lovely. And obviously, 
you can tell that you're in Vegas, but I mean, Vegas is about suspending disbelief anyway, and that's what they do. There's the chapel facility. Let me see if I can take a quick peek inside without interfering with anybody. Yeah, so just kind of your traditional chapel motif. Hours and how you reserve it are there. Actually, let's do go back inside the chapel for a second. Yeah, and it's just a really pretty space, right? With beautiful floral arrangements. Space for your weddings or your vows or whatever other event you want to do. Hi. You just left me yes, ma'am. Okay. And going back out, we're going to look now at the statue of Bugsy Siegel. Actually, there's one last set of waterfalls I want to take a look at. Again, it's part of just the kind of quiet space and nature of the wildlife habitat. All astroturf here, so, but it's nice. And this sign is about Bugsy Siegel, and it talks about some of the history of the Flamingo Hotel, which is one of the iconic locations here on the Strip. Let's take a look at it. So I would have loved to have been in old school Vegas in the place with the secret escape rooms and all of that. Um, as the sign points out, he kind of made some ironic choices because he was perfectly safe here in Vegas and then wound up getting um, killed at his mansion in Beverly Hills. But again, folks, this is Bill with Dine Drink Vegas. And what I've been doing is taking you on a walk through the gardens, the botanical gardens, the wildlife habitat and the garden chapel here at the Flamingo Hotel. It is free and it is open to the public. You don't need a ticket. You just walk in and it's a quiet space reserved away from the rest of Las Vegas. Folks, I hope this video has been helpful to you because what we try really hard to do here at Dine Drink Vegas is bring you short and focused videos which give you the information that you need to plan your next trip. If you go on our channel, we've got, we'll have a room review of my room here at the Flamingo as well as lots of other rooms and restaurants and VIP lounges here in Vegas. I would really appreciate your support for the channel. You can support us by clicking like and subscribe. Also, we'd love to hear from our viewers. So if you leave a comment in the comment section down below, we'll get to that as soon as we can. And every time you leave a comment, it helps YouTube show our videos to more people. Thanks so much, folks, and happy travels.